All right, you guys, Drake Riggs here with MMAnia.com with Dakota Ditchip, of course, Dakota. Great to see you again. Happy, Thank what is you. it, Wednesday. I got my yeah. days all mixed <laughs> up, but we're here in Nashville. Last time I saw you, Dakota, we were in San Antonio for the kickoff of the tournament. Did you get your tacos? No. Oh, my God. <laughs> Do you know, I talk a big talk when it comes to the food, and then after the fight, honestly, I just go to bed. I just go and, like... Get like a quick McDonald's or something, and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess at that time, places aren't open either. Yeah, usually, that was another right? thing. Everything was closed as well, so I was so <laughs> gutted. I was honestly fuming. Oh, yeah, that's no good. Well, any ideas here? You're going to try this time, Nashville? Or? I think some kind of fried chicken. Okay. That's what I've been hearing, and I love fried chicken. So I think from going down to that strip that road yes, that everyone loves Broadway. everything is open and wild all the time so i'll definitely find something this time of course of course good choice good choice but yeah dakota here we are semi-finals playoffs getting ready here exciting stuff i know we've talked about it before but i know you said it's not easy but you make it look so easy in there right with your wins and your victories and whatnot is, is there been a fight that you can remember that stands out maybe is like, oh, that was particularly maybe harder, more difficult to get through? Or maybe even a camp leading up to it, like just a situation, I suppose. Yeah, honestly, I think sometimes camps are harder. Right, you right. know, I think mentally when you have injuries and things like that, um, I think that's more of the fight than the actual yeah. getting in the cage itself. Um, but yeah, I mean, every fight is difficult mentally, physically, you know, because of all the training that we've done. But um it was definitely my one my one decision fight on my pro record. I, I messed up with my weight cut on that fight, and I ah. paid for it because now I've got one decision <laughs> win. So Just that's not away, exa- yeah. yeah, it's not exactly <laughs> what I wanted. But I learned a lesson early on in my career. So um, for me, ever since then, I've kind of kept it up. Yeah, it's been all systems go since yeah. then, no doubt. So uh, with every fight, though, Dakota, as you continue to extend that uh, you know undefeated record, like yeah. people say, pressure, all that stuff. I mean, the noise gets louder and louder. I know you're good at avoiding it, but like, is it getting harder to avoid <laughs> you know, all the things people say, whether it's fellow fighters or, you know, the public, because you're only getting more followers online and stuff like that, you know? <laughs> yeah, honestly, no, I don't really like struggle with, um, you know, all the people's pressures, like what they expect and things. It's more myself, like mm-hmm. I don't want to lose my, uh, my zero on my record, mm-hmm. you know, of course. So the pressure does get higher and higher each time and um, fights get more important especially in a season like this obviously it's semi-finals yeah. and it's going to be finals so um the pressure does get more but i deal with it very well you know i train hard i don't miss any sessions in camp i'm there at the gym all the time i'm locked in completely so as long as i you know train hard fight easy that's what we say so i'm confident when i come to fight week because i've give everything i can in camp whose critique gets to you the most though Myself. Okay. Definitely myself. Not mom or coach or anything? No. Or? <laughs> I mean, definitely coach, but myself. I, I, I can come out of a sparring round and be like, that was shit. <laughs> and my coach can be like, you did much better today. I like that. You know, so mm-hmm. it's like, I'm, there's no one harder on, my, on themselves than, my, than me, you know. So um, I think that's another thing, you know. I never like, I'm never satisfied with like a good session, you know. Right. I'm always wanting more out of myself. And that's probably what makes me the fighter I am. You know, yeah. I'm not, I'm, I won the Europeans last year. I'm not satisfied. The performances weren't perfect. Um, I've still got loads more I need to develop in my skills. So I think that's what's kind of fueled me for this year. And the same, you know, I'll do the same now. Like my last two performances were, were good, yeah. amazing to everyone else. But for me, I saw holes that I didn't, I didn't like, and I, that's what's keeping me going. So does a perfect performance even exist, really? Like definitely not in my head. No, <laughs> a perfect performance doesn't exist. Perfect training session doesn't exist. I've kind of had to uh, accept that now. My brother reminds me of that all the time. Like never going to be perfect there's always going to be something to work on i mean maybe uh Maz Vidal Askren's as good as it gets you know yeah. <laughs> something like that right real quick yeah. not a chance for mistakes yeah. True. <laughs> but rare rare very yeah, rare yeah very rare so, <laughs> uh yeah dakota though as mentioned you know with your record continuing to extend the star power growing all these things like i'm sure you don't care about it but Main event, would that have been something cool for you, you know, to get the first one here? Obviously we're not, but that's why I'm asking, like, do you think you should be? Or is there any anything about that that tickles the fancy, I guess? <laughs> yeah, no, honestly, I'm not really bothered. Like, even co-main event wasn't really something that I was bothered about. Yeah. Um, I think the fans do love it. I think that's why they did it. They, they put me on prelims on one of the, I think it was the first card, and yeah. then they switched me to the main card. Right, right. Because loads of people, I think, were, like, commenting, like, why, on, yeah, yeah. what are you putting her on the prelims for? <laughs> So they changed that, and yeah. then I was co-main event next time. So I think they learned the lesson right. for sure. But um, yeah, honestly, I'm 
just like happy to just get in and showcase my skills as long as I'm on TV because obviously that makes a difference right. I want to be able to showcase my skills to a wider audience but um, I'm happy just to be here and, and performing yeah and the rounds don't change either no, so like exactly. that's that's the thing yeah. too but eventually that's the goal right <laughs> so yeah <laughs> for, for the sure. next one so yeah. um of course we got jenna bishop coming up though here dakota like a lot of people considering her your toughest test yet uh she's the still a big underdog but the smallest underdog i think of yeah. your opponents uh do you consider her your toughest what are your kind of overall thoughts on her i guess is your next challenge i consider everyone tough you know i don't underestimate anybody um I mean, I'm sure half the people, there's so, still so many people saying she's like just another can on my record. Another half will say, yeah, she's a little bit better. So you can't win, you know. Yeah. Um, so I don't even think about any of that. I'm just um, happy to get in and showcase my skills against another girl in this tournament and um, get to, through to the final. Yeah. Are you expecting kind of a wrestling heavy approach from her? Because that's kind of, you know, her strong suit. Everyone says, well, we haven't seen enough of that from you. Like people, you know, making their critiques and whatnot. But do you think she'll try and go that route? Yeah, I think as soon as she feels the power and as soon as I hit her, she right. definitely will, like everybody else. But at the same time, she stood and striked with uh, Talia Santos. Mm -hmm. So, you yeah. know, if she wants to strike, I'm sure she's capable of that. So I have to expect I have to expect that as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, I heard you in there and people asking you about prediction for the other fights. Well, I won't ask you that. You yeah. know, I don't really care. It doesn't matter. I don't Take care, them all yeah. on. But have you been more impressed with one's run than the other, Liz and Tyler, so far in the season? No, not really. <laughs> if I'm going to be completely honest, like I respect them both, very high level uh, women, but I'm not particularly like, there's not a standout Grading performance them or that I'm like, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah that's all I got to say fair on that. Enough, fair <laughs> enough. Uh, in a general sense, though, uh, Dakota, I want to ask you because it's fun to get kind of the perspectives, especially if someone who is so self critical like yourself, yeah. but like in the grand scheme, when you get to inevitably that championship spot as you hope to be, it's kind of a debate I've noticed going online recently, just in general, but like, what do you find more impressive between a long reigning champion, like someone who can defend for, let's say at least five, you know, the Anderson Silva's, the GSP's, those types, or the double champ? What is more impressive to you, or I guess maybe more interesting to you, but also impressive in a general sense? I think personally, both equally very good. You know, I think it does, it brings like, I mean, people get bored very easy in right. the sport, you know, yeah. it's hard to keep impressing the fans. So um, I think someone that's just going through one division is a bit boring. As soon as you like change weight categories, everyone's like refreshed and they're like, oh, yeah. it's something new, mm -hmm. you know? So yeah. I think that's probably what brings the excitement for like the two weight champ. Um, but equally like, you know, someone that's in, like for me, I don't have any, um, like desire to move categories right now like or 125 is perfect either, yeah, yeah i yeah. don't have any weight troubles i walk around pretty much um very very light probably lighter than a lot of fighters at 125 so for me it would be stupid for me to go up right now mm -hmm. so um i mean i would just want to fight in my category if that makes people yeah. boring it does but at the same time if i'm performing and still getting the highlight reels then I mean, the they say the hardest thing to do is, you know, it's easier to become the champ than mm -hmm. it is to stay the champ. So, exactly. Yeah. yeah, I think equally it's very impressive. But obviously, it just I think it's just refreshing for someone to see like you in a different category, right. with different people. Yeah, more more variety and freshness, yeah. I guess. But yeah, everyone's got very that. demanding. These fans, yes, though, you know, yes, they, they get bored very quickly. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they so. can turn on you very quick. So yeah. you have got to keep it moving. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. But all right, Dakota, I won't keep you much longer here. But before I do let you go. Do you want to play another game of Explain This Post? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think this will be, this won't catch you off guard maybe as much as the last one, but okay. this one is from, from Fe oh, you posted okay. it last year. But <laughs> I'll, I'll put this on the screen for the viewers, but yeah. the quote is, somewhere behind the athlete you've become uh, and the hours of practice and the coaches who have pushed you is a little girl who fell in love with the game and never looked back. Play for her. Do you remember this yeah. moment from what the picture is from? I do, yeah. <laughs> um, that is like, obviously, my mum's gym. That's part of my mum's gym that she's had for like over 30 years. So when I say like, I was tiny, like pushing my prams around <laughs> at that age, you know, while my mum was coaching, but the sport wasn't really an interest for me at that time. Um, and then I came back to it myself, obviously fell in love with it. And I think, um, so, I think I posted that probably at a time where I was struggling. It's the start of the year. and. Mm. Um, I sometimes get a little bit lost, you know, especially uh, before I signed with PFL. Um, I was like, not sure what direction I wanted to go with the sport, you know, and when you've been doing it for so long, it's like, and you, and you don't feel like you're progressing where you want to be. It's, it can be a tough time and you're thinking, is this worth it? Obviously, training's hard, dieting's hard, like, 
it was probably at a time where I was like feeling sorry for myself. Yeah. But um, I think, yeah, play for her, that little girl there that fell in love with the sport, just loved being in the gym. I think, um, you know, that was what was behind the quote. You just have to fall in love with it and just go for that that person that's that, that dreamt at the beginning you know right. don't forget that for sure all right perfect i love that that's great a little nostalgia there right? yeah <laughs> i love looking at them photos do you remember when you probably don't remember yourself but like when your mom told you that she noticed a real interest when you yeah, were yeah i think um obviously when i was four or around that age i was like not interested at all mm -hmm. um, she put me into loads of different sports and she didn't want me to do it and then when i came back to it myself it was a little bit like, she, there was a time where she's been like, oh no, and then she'd give me that talk of, if you're gonna do this, you need to put your all into right. it. And then like for years and years, she's always said to me, like she's always asked me like, are you sure you wanna do this? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, if you ask me that one more yeah, time, I'm like, like <laughs> I'm gonna get you in the cage, I'm gonna get you in the ring, like, yes, I want to do this. <laughs> so um, yeah, I think they're probably the memories that I remember from her. All right, perfect, perfect. <laughs> well, on that note, Dakota, I will let you go. Best of luck, it is Thank always so great much. getting to see you, and uh, yeah, look forward to it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Let's cheers on it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Yes.